From the tiniest particle to the largest galaxy, everything is in the cosmos. The cosmos is expanding. This expansion rate is known as the Hubble constant. It was measured using a method pioneered by Henrietta Swan Levitt, where she discovered so-called standard candles. She then discovered a type of pulsating star depending on its luminosity, known as a Sophie variable. This is a great standard candle, but they are just stars which are too dim to see beyond a certain distance. So in the 1990s, two teams of astronomers explored a new type of standard candle, the super bright type 1A supernova. But unexpectedly, they found out that not only the universe is expanding, but also accelerating. Hence, dark energy was discovered. So the story splits into two. Generally, there are two methods of finding the measurement. As two teams of astronomers work on both methods to find the expansion rate, the crisis known as the Hubble tension emerged. Ready. Yep, so just to be clear, the CMB was released a few hundred thousand years ago after a Big Bang, right? Exactly. By the way, the result is here, and let's see how the supernova team is doing. Hello, Mr. Adam Rees. Our Planck satellite has recorded an expansion rate of 67.6 km per second per meter per sec, with an uncertainty of 0 0.3. I think this is the most accurate measurement ever made. How's your team doing? Hi there. So our team published a new Hubble constant of 73 km per second per meter per sec, with an uncertainty of 1.5. Yo! How come? Well, you guys assume that dark energy has a constant density for the entire edge of the universe, right? But that might be only for the simplest model. So what if dark energy has changed over time? That means dark energy is sweeter than we thought and this might be a new discovery. What if it's just an error? Maybe it's a feed for Apple? Well, it's nearly impossible because it's measured using the most simplest method you could get, the stellar parallax. You know what is it, right? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so put your finger in front of your eyes, blink left and right, your finger move relative to the background. Move it further, the effect fades away. Yep, exactly. The Hubble telescope and even your Hyparchos satellite has tracked the motion of 100,000 stars, but we need more. By using the Gaia spacecraft, the universe is mapped 200 times more accurate. This recalibrates the Sophie variable, the Type 1A supernovae, and that's how our team got the result. Scientists are looking for more evidence of a breakthrough. One way is by using the vast ring patterns in the way galaxies are scattered as a standard lunar. This is known as the baryon acoustic oscillation. It is formed as the conditions of the early universe are suitable for protons and neutrons to form. These particles created a rapid burst of sound wave, leaving traces as it cools down. As we can see, space exploration and science will never stop evolving. A lesson we could take in life is that learning from mistakes is the best way to gain knowledge.